What's going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel and welcome to part 28 of my Let's Play here in Crash Bandicoot on the PlayStation 4. When we last left off, we had done the lab level, or we had gone back through the lab level to get the yellow gem and we were successful. It took us a couple of tries, but we got the yellow gem. And then we did the level that unlocked with the yellow gem, which was the great gate. And that took slightly longer than I thought it would because the bonus path that you unlock with the yellow gem was extremely difficult. But we eventually did that as well. And now the other level that we unlocked with the yellow gem is this level here, Lights Out. If you remember a while back, I was not able to get the purple gem in this level because it required the yellow gem. A colored gem was required to get another colored gem. So now we should be able to do this level. And it, depending on how quickly I can get this done, the level that unlocks with the purple gem is Boulder Dash, which is an easy boulder level. So I might be able to do both of those in this part. Um, now you're probably wondering why I haven't posted in a week, because my last upload was Sunday of last week. Uh, well, I've been busy with some other things, but now I'm back and we're going to continue Crash. We're going to finish this game and move on to Crash 2. We're still working on my GTA 5 online contact mission series, so we're getting some stuff done. But let's get right into Lights Out. This is the easier of the two dark levels. If you remember, the other dark level is called... What is it called? Lights Out, and I can't remember what the other one's called, but it's another dark level, and this one's easier. There's only 15 boxes. Now, if you remember how this level works, you need to get these Aku Aku masks, and they're going to act as flashlights to light the path forward. And remember, we have to do this level without dying to get the yellow gem. But it should be easy because... Or the purple gem. It should be easy because the yellow gem path is actually halfway through the level. And it'll bypass a lot of the stuff we've got to do at the end. Which is good for us. So far, so good. As you can see, my flashlight's starting to go out, but we got another one. I'm just going to wait. Don't want to take any chances on this level. Got to make these jumps pixel perfect. That's okay, I can still see. Luckily, I have the brightness turned up. Now we gotta hurry. Because now our light is gonna go out. Ah, we got it. Alright, that's eight boxes so far. Light the path forward to get rid of those rats. Alright, there's only two more boxes before the no or before the gem path. Oh boy. That was, that was the decision that I made. It's okay. I'm good. And that's the last box. Now we just have to get to the gym, which is, I think, up here. Yep, there it is. That's it. That's the end of the level. Now we just take this up, and the three boxes are at the top. That was actually really easy. So this is actually an alternate exit to the level. So if you remember, in the last time we did this level, we couldn't go this way because we didn't have the yellow gem. So we had to finish the level and go out the other way. So we got 12 out of the 15 boxes. But now here are the other three. And there you go. Purple gem, baby. Probably one of the easier gems in this game. The only thing that makes getting this gem difficult is the fact that you need the yellow gem in order to get it. And look at that. He spit it out of his mouth. 21 out of 27. There's literally 6 left in the whole game. 
And I'm going to show you where they are real quick before I do the boulder level. Oh, Fumbling in the Dark. That was the name of the other one. And they're actually right next to each other. Okay, so let's go to the end so we can backtrack here. Okay, so this is one of them. This is the level we're going to be doing right before we beat Neo Cortex. Stormy Ascent, the DLC level. So that's one gem. Let's keep going. Got both of those. We got to get the red gem. That's two. Uh, let's keep going. That's the third island. That's three. That's the one we're going to be doing right now. That's four. Road to Nowhere. Uh, should be only a couple more. That's five. And that's six. That should be all six of them. Yep, those are the six we have left. So, let's review. So upstream, we need the red gem, which we have not gotten yet. Um, Native Fortress, we also need the red gem. Road to Nowhere, I think, is also the red gem. That's three levels that require the red gem. Boulder Dash is the purple gem. Slippery Climb is where we get the red gem, and then Stormy Ascent. So let's do Boulder Dash real quick, because so, that first level was super quick. Literally, it, I, I was blown away by how quickly I did that. But it's so much easier when you have the yellow gem, because you don't have to do any of that other stuff. And remember, this one only has 35 boxes. Alright, let's do this. We have 136 lives. I forgot all about that. Don't worry. I'm going to be getting even more. Because I want to have as many lives as possible before I do Stormy Ascent. Because that level is really difficult. This, If you remember, Boulder Dash is the second of the Boulder levels. Uh, and it's the slightly harder one. The first one only had... 18 boxes in it or something. This one has 35. And the last time we did this level, we missed, I think, five boxes. Because we didn't have the colored gem, but now we do. We only have one more colored gem to get. We're wrapping this game up. It'll only be a couple more parts. Slippery Climb is probably going to be a part in itself. Then the levels that unlock with the red gem will probably be another two parts. And then, uh, other than that, uh, Stormy Ascent's going to be a part in itself. And then we defeat Neo Cortex. Oh, sweet. Two lives that I can't use. <laughs> I think last time I did this level, I got pummeled by 18 boxes because there's that many boxes in the no in the uh, gem path, which is weird. That's like half the boxes in the level. Oh, you! This, these jumps are so far apart. Run, crash! Oh, that was. I almost didn't make that jump. Oh! Now remember the gem path is actually at the end of the level so don't jump on the end platform you want to jump on the crystal or the gem there we go so this is actually going to take us to another part of the level Look at this what is this nonsense it's like a whole different level we're not even getting chased by a gem here Look at this okay you can get rid of that one Oh crap, there's freaking plants down here. The heck? Oh! I'm an idiot. Oh, and you're kidding. That that wasn't a checkpoint. Oh crapola. Now let's do that again. I just stood there and let the plant kill me for some stupid reason. I don't know what I was doing. 
I forgot that this is crash one and there's no double jump or slide jump. It's been a while. I haven't played this game in a week. I've been playing some other crash games while I was uh, on hiatus, including the one that came out in the Game Boy back in 2002. I believe that one was called The Huge Adventure. I did not finish the game. I got 62% done, which is pretty good. I think it's pretty good. And then I also started a playthrough of The Wrath of Cortex, which released on the PlayStation 2 back in 2002. One, and it's technically the fourth game in the series. I wish I had a, a mask. Oh. Oh, look at all the lives it's given me that I can't use. Because you can only get above a hundred lives in that one. Uh, area that I showed you. Wait, is that the last box? Oh, it is the last box. Look at that! A clear gym, and it's not even at the end of the level. It's in a secret area. And look at this. Neocortex is on the back wall, and then Nitrous Brio is on the left and the right. Yes! Secret exit! And he pulled it out of his butt. That's... Gem number 22. 92% done. Woo! So the reason I bring up those other crash games is because in those crash games that I was playing, there's double jump and slide jump, which is not in this game. They added it in Crash 2, which I'll be getting to next. So I was trying to double jump, and I just stood there. <laughs> Uh, I mean, double jump and slide jump are so useful in those future crash games because you can jump so much further. In this game, you have to, like, pixel perfect all your jumps. Alright. So that'll end this part. I think next time we're going to try and get the last color gem because that's really all we can do at the moment. We can't go back into any of the other levels because we need the red gem. So we're going to have to do Slippery Climb, which is going to be hard. I mean, there's a reason I saved that for last. It's probably the hardest color gem. Blue was the easiest. That was in Toxic Waste. That didn't take very long. I think I got it in three tries. Then I got green, and that one took about five tries. Then I got orange, which took another four or five tries. So those were pretty easy. Then I got yellow, and yellow was it was difficult, but I think three or four tries in, I figured it out. And then purple I did on my first try. So now we'll see how I can do red. Because Slippery Climb is a hard level. It's the same kind of level as Stormy Ascent, so I'm not ready for it. But anyway, that'll do it for this video. So, you know, if you enjoyed it, and I hope you did, then leave a like on it. And uh, subscribe to the channel if you're new by hitting the subscribe button. And then you can click on that notification bell. Set it to all notifications so you never miss any of my videos. And I'll catch you guys next time as we do Slippery Climb. Let me go over there before I exit this part. Where is it? I think it's up here. Where are you, Slippery Climb? I don't think it's up here. It's back here somewhere. Where are you, Slippery Climb? Here it is. We'll do this next time. I'm coming for you, Red Gem. In fact, I'll show you the gems that we have. Boom. Here's our progress. 92% done. 2 out of 2 keys. 22 out of 26 gems, including 5 color gems. Blue, green, yellow, purple, orange. Just have red left. So I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'll see you all later.